exclusive interview about international Egyptian photographer Khaled Abu Dhab. Our reporter Yasmin Ibrahim has more details about his career in the following story. The Egyptian artist and photographer Khaled Abu Dhab reached international fame through his creativity through the camera lens. This is because of the effect of Egyptian culture that he grew up in. He was born in Aswan. His photography infatuation started at a young age. He traveled and joined many international photography exhibitions until he grabbed the attention through international photography competition that included 45 countries where he won third place. Now, he gives photography lectures that help amateurs become professional photographers in a short span of time. And we're pleased to have with us the Egyptian international photographer Khaled Abu Dhab. Mr. Khaled, we thank you very much for joining us on Nile International. Thanks, Yasmin. It's a pleasure for me. Sir, let's start with your first success story. I want to know how, from a local photographer, you became an international one. Okay, so um, actually there is, the, there is a two secrets for that. First of all, your technicality, your techniques, skills. It has to, to, to meet the international technical skills levels. So second part, it's related to your work. It has to be also uh, having the same language of the human being emotion, not exclusively to your uh, uh, personal ideas or culture. you have a special vision and uh, technique, a unique one. Exactly, we, c we can say that, uh, especially also one of my uh, photos has won the second place, the best second photo at all the world at the Pro Photo International Contest. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, I heard that you organize workshops that help a local uh, photographer to be an international one in 40 days. So how do you do that? You have to come to the courses then. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, see, we come up with a different uh, and unique uh, courses program. So we teach the people that the, uh, come to attend our courses not only photography. We teach them the the other worded language for the photographers. What do you want? What do you need? What do you expect? How to present yourself to the international world and how to market even yourself to the international world. So all these techniques, it's not related to the photography, but it's related to uh, being an international artist and how to present and to promote yourself, mm -hmm. speaking the same language as the entire world they are speaking. <laughs> to know what um, lacks the Egyptian photographer to be an international one. Uh, they meet many difficulties. See, uh, actually the, the lack is not only for the Egyptian photographers, it's for all the entire uh, Arab Garina, yeah. not photographer, for, for, the, for the Middle East and the Arabic here. You could found two major stuff. First of all, the equipment and the techniques, not all the, the, the international uh, techniques or the equipment are available here in Egypt or at the Arabic uh, 
countries. Mm -hmm. Second part is we have a problem to promote ourselves. I would say the, the foreigner photographers or the European photographers, they know how to play this game very well and they have also organizations. Not, they are not doing this by themselves. Mm. So I think this is the major points here for the Middle East. <laughs>